Gate wins. Come on, you two. <laughs> into that painting. <gasps> Silly, you can't go into a painting. There's nothing but colored chalk. Well, young man, one of these days, you'll learn to look further than the end of your nose. For instance, look at this painting here. If you go way down the end of that road, you might just see two lovely penguins having cakes and tea. And in this one, I see a little mouse right under the throne. Now, if I were a clever cat, that's where I'd go. You really think so? Mm -hmm. See? Nothing happened. Well, people don't just pop in and out of paintings anytime they want, you know. Can we try? Please, 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 please. I have no intention of making a spectacle of myself, thank you very much. It's just not possible. Mm -mm. Oh, please, please. Oh, very well. Come along. Hold on tight. Are you ready? One, two, and... Amazing. Wow. <laughs> Where are my figures? Where are my figures? The number of baboons in India, the length of the North Pole. Time's a wasting, people. I see two oh. baboons. Hands to yourself, please. Mustn't smudge the drawing. Now, Children, this is the story of a king who believes in all the facts and figures of the world. I need to know his great people. Sadly, he loves them more than anything. I need to see movement, people. I need to hear facts. Now, wild as mice, please. Ah, yes, Do turkeys come from Turkey? <gasps> and if not, why not? This is gold I'm giving you, Prime Minister. Don't miss a word. Uh, sorry, could, could you repeat that, sir? Come on, work with me, work with me. The headless horseman displeased me once. How do you think he lost his head? <laughs> Turkey! Ah, yes, sir. Thank you. My queen, did you know that your cheeks are like roses? Oh, darling. Yeah, but why are cheeks like roses? Why not cabbages? I want answers, people. Answers. Cabbages. Yes, sir, of course. The queen was deeply saddened. The king's eyes that once glowed with love for her now rarely turn in my direction. Silence! All of you! Silence! You've jumped to my conclusions. Sorry, sire. I'll leave the jumping to conclusions to you. Why, you impudent li <clears throat> Do you know who I am? A ruler who doesn't know his own measure. Who are you to judge me? I am a collector of knowledge and a purveyor of facts. Well, this must be your lucky day, Your Majesty, for I know quite a lot. <laughs> How laughably absurd. Sire, I've traveled far and wide and lived seven of my nine lives, while you have lived only one. A cat can't possibly know more than a king. <laughs> I challenge you to a contest of wits. We'll ask each other three questions. Miss even one, and you'll be my servant for the rest of your ah, remaining lives. <laughs> Not so fast. If I win, I get the kingdom and the crown. If you win, you can have all my knowledge and be proclaimed the smartest man in the world. The world? How oh, paltry. Make it the smartest man in the universe. And then we have a deal. Fine. First question. What is the heaviest burden a man can carry? Hmm, that's easy. The secrets in his own soul. Poppycock! I'm afraid the cat's right, sir. My turn, your liege. All right. What is the measure of a man? That's ever so easy. But measured how? With a yardstick, measuring tape? I have always <laughs> supposed that the measure of a man is in the size of his heart. Correct. That's <laughs> using your head. Or losing it. <coughs> okay, cat. 
If you think you are so clever, what is the smartest part of the brain? <laughs> the part smart enough to understand how little it knows. <laughs> Forgive me, Your Highness, but is this your best material? <sighs> All right. What's the hardest thing a person can do? Hmm. Oh, scale Mount Everest. <laughs> Sail the Amazon. No, march into the bowels of Kathmandu. I know. Sometimes the hardest thing a person can do is tell the truth. Oh, yes. Ah. Okay. Question number three. What is the lowest point on Earth? The point at which a man finds himself all alone. Oh. <laughs> the cat is running rings around the king. Indubitably. See, the king thought it was a common house cat and wagered his crown. He's learning that things aren't always what they seem. My lord, your last and final question. Right. What is the strongest thing in the world? Uh, the tiger. No, 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 the horse. Yeah, the, the lion. The tides of the sea. Anyone? I think it must be patience. For it is patience that overcomes all things. You are so right, my lady. Patience can move mountains. Mm. I boasted about how clever I was. But how can I possibly be king if my own subject know more than I? Oh, oh darling. I, I, I don't know who I am anymore. If you would like to see your true self, sire, just look into my eyes. Closer. Closer. <laughs> my glorious ghost. That's us. I know who I am now. I'm not the cleverest man in the world. <laughs> I'm a merry old soul. <laughs> so now the cat gets the kingdom, right? Mm -hmm. As agreed. But what would I do with a kingdom? Then please accept this necklace as a token of my appreciation. A gracious offer. Thank you, madam. <laughs> And now I bid you adieu. I am late for a date with my lunch. Ah, <laughs> what a clever cat. Mm. What cat? The one we follow. Hmm? Into that painting. Painting? Preposterous. A, a respectable person like me in a painting? How could you suggest such a thing? But, 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 but. but oh, but, but, but. but, but. I think we've done quite enough for one day. So run along, children, and I'll see you soon. Smith spot. Bye. Good. <laughs>